Why I think Andrew Garfield is the best Spider-Man? Part 1. The Quips. Out of all three Spider-Man, Andrew had the most jokes and the most quips. Yeah, Toby and Tom would do it here and there, but they would mostly just do it first and then get back to being serious in the fight. Whereas Andrew, he would make quips and jokes every single fight he was in. He did it with the Lizard, he did it with Electro, and he also kind of did it with Green Goblin at the end. Hell, he even did it with Rhino. So, if you ask me, out of all the Spider-Man, Andrew had to be the funniest. Not only that, but a big part about being Spider-Man is, in every single one of his fights, unless it's like super serious, he would crack jokes and quips every single time. So if you ask me, when it comes to being funny, Andrew's got it, got it down. Why well, I think Andrew Garfield is the best Spider-Man? Part 2. He made his own web shooters. Toby didn't need web shooters, he had organic webs. And Tom, yeah, he made his own web shooters, but that was for like his homemade suit and homecoming and No Way Home at the end of the movie, because, you know, Tony Stark's tech doesn't remember him. But most of his web shooters were mostly Stark tech based. Whereas Andrew, he literally had to make his own web shooters. He gathered the materials, learned online, and not only that, but unlike Tom, no offense to Tom, good Spider-Man, but Andrew's web shooters would always get damaged and broken in damn near both of his movies. The Lizard did it and Electra did it, and every time you would see him trying to improve and work on them and fix them for the next battle. Don't get me wrong, Tom, we don't really see his web shooters get broken or damaged in his movies. The only thing we've seen where they malfunction is when he runs out of webs in Far From Home during the Mysterio battle. But I really like this about Andrew. It goes to show you that even though he's too cool to be Peter Parker, as some people say, he's still nerdy and smart like in the comics. Why well, I think Andrew Garfield is the best Spider-Man? Part 3. He's the most comic accurate. Now before you guys start hating me, just know Toby and Tom did have some comic accurate moments. But I believe Andrew had the most comic accurate moments. Besides Harry being Green Goblin first instead of Norman, which doesn't make any sense, Andrew is pretty accurate in terms of the comics and source material. He met Gwen before MJ and became lovers first, check. His girl got killed in a battle between him and Green Goblin, check. His parents were agents, which did happen in the comics, if you didn't know that, now you do, so check. And the suit, do I even need to say anything? It literally looks like he got ripped right out of the comics. So I would say, yeah, Andrew had the most comic accurate moments. I mean, the quips, the web shooters, do I even need to go on? But that doesn't mean Toby and Tom didn't have moments. In my opinion, just know I do believe Andrew had the most. So if you guys like this final part, be sure to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching my three-part series on why I think he's the best.